Hello, you lot. What's this here? Only 2% battery left. There we go. Hello, you lot. Right. There's us all set up there, Gladys. Car. Facilities. Happy days. We're at Deers Glade campsite. It's just outside Cromer in Norfolk. And it's a cracker. Now, I only do videos on campsites I like. If I go to a campsite I don't like, I won't do a video because I don't want to spread any bad vibes. It's pointless. They might be having a bad day there or a bad season or whatever. So I'll just leave it and don't do it. But here... I asked a lovely chap who I believe owns or runs a site, or his family owns or runs a site, Elliot. Thanks very much for letting me do this video, mate. Really, really nice. I flipping love it here. It's huge. There's hardly anyone on here at the moment. I'll do you a spin round. I've got Raven strapped to me. I'll take you for a little walk round and show you about. Really nice. Now, just in front of us, there, that's the chemical toilet empty in place so I ain't got to go far there then here's the washing up facilities all nice and clean the ladies come around and clean it every day there's a family room and a disabled room there and the gents are there and I'll take you in there in a little while that toilet and shower unit you'd like it in your house it is flipping beautiful really nice and here's your drinking water and your wastewater on the other side we was going to go over there on those pitches but we've had so much heavy rain lately and we've got a lot coming in and those pitches are boggy so i've got some lovely friends turning up in a little while and we've got a pitch next to each other luckily they had two pitches over the back of that facility there and it's dry and out the wind. But there's loads of hard standings here. I don't know whether they're going to get busy this weekend. I think they're going to get busy this week. And this weekend is November the 5th. And they've got a fireworks night around here somewhere. So we'll probably go to that. How exciting. See how he likes it. He's all right with bangs and cracks and stuff like that. But as you can see... All gravel hard standings. I've seen Muntjack walking around here. Squirrels. There's a big herd of fallow deer across the way. I believe it's a deer park across the way there, across the road as you come in. I've seen some lovely bucks. Now, over the back there, I'll take you over there, is a fishing lake, and behind us is like a dog walk in that corner. Go over there with a the dog. I'll show you that. And uh, they've also got pods here and a kiddies playground. It's a family site, this one. And over there is the entrance where you come in and the shop. But more excitingly, look at these. Who's this raven? Look at these. Oh my goodness. Come here, raven. Look at them. Pygmy goats. Look at them. I love pygmy goats. Look at them. Hello. Having a graze there. And they've been here for a couple of years. I think these are a couple of adults and some young they've had. Look at him there with the black face. They are gorgeous. Now, I had pygmy goats. What haven't you had, JP, I hear you say? But I've had pygmy goats too. I think that was called chocolate and cocoa. Good. Oh. Probably... 25 years ago I had those in my garden because I had a huge back garden back then I had 26 ferrets and a barn owl and loads of spiders and snakes and stuff but uh, I love pygmy goats they're so lovely we used to walk around a village on greyhound collars but right so let's get back to this so there's all hard standings around here too and look at that one there it's really boggy at the moment we've had so much rain grass pitches there's taps every, 
everywhere here and also they've got pods you can rent out and I think they've got bell tents as well because that looks like a folded up bell tent now I've got one of them in my garage so they've got hey, a glamping car park so this is a glamping area they've got these chimeneas everywhere and I reckon yeah these are bell tents they've took down because of the winds there's a gypsy caravan there look at that you know I love them look at all the colours on the trees it's flipping stunning it's so natural so natural so we've got one two three four five six bell tents a gypsy wagon and a pod so they look cracking now you can have open fires on this site if it actually stops raining i think i'll have a little open fire outside the van with our friends but this is a fishing lake just here wow i've oh, got to come fishing over here look at that absolutely lovely really nice now from today we're in low season so it's about uh, i think it's about 29 pound a night on electrical hookup with two people and a dog so but high season obviously is a bit more than that but for this campsite with everything you get here it's good value there are two facility blocks on site one over where we are and another one over the back there there's the fishing lake look yeah well cool and both I believe have got laundry units on if you leave your laundry in a wash machine okay find out how long it's gonna take and then set an alarm and then go and get it out so someone else can use it just saying um yeah so there's a chap over there fishing i'll show you around anyway rather than look at my ugly mug now i think over the back there there may be some seasonal pitches the chap in there fishing it looks like he's just set up but there's all geese and ducks and everything in there. It's really less natural. It's lovely. Really quiet. And then stuck in, a, in amongst these little things here. These little hedgerows, which are really nice. They look like little... Let's have a look at that. Little mixed hedgerows all sorts in there you've got more hard standings it is proper boggy but I watched a muntjac deer walk across one of the pitches this morning there's more there's loads of swims around here loads all in there it's a really natural lovely looking little fish place and uh, I think a lot of these grass pitches are not in use they're only in look only the hard standings are in use at the moment but I think we'll get some trail cams out here because along there is like a big dog walk that goes all the way around the outside of the site I believe I'll go and have a look at that later but really nice and personal within the summertime this would be amazing absolutely amazing all electric hookups Look, little nooky bits you can get away now I think these might be seasonal pitches here you've got your fire points all around the site as I say it's a really well set up site started to rain started to rain surprise flipping surprise but, uh, yeah it's wicked what's not to like I've been on quite a few campsites now probably over 200 campsites and I don't, as I say, I don't show them all to you. Some of them are just not worth your while. There's another little offshoot there with a load of grass pitches on. Oh, here we go. So that's a drive over motorhome waste point. Nice big one, absolutely lovely. Waste water and more drinking water. And this is the other amenity block over the way from us. 
Oh, Raven wants. There's another laundry point in there. Show you. Oh, yeah. Two washing machines and one tumble dryer in this one. In the other one, there's two tumble dryer, uh, two tumble dryers and two washing machines, and somewhere where you can rinse your rinse your pants out. They're all work on a token charge. So you go into the shop and get a token, and it's five quid for a wash and a dryer, which is really reasonable, isn't it? That's real good, really good. Where am I? Ah, here we go, and there is another, looks like, chemical closet. That's where you empty your toilet. Need hose on there, guys. Nice long hose, that's what we like. Yeah, look at this round here. Looks like a little community. Little pathway. Well, nice. Flipping lovely, isn't it? There we go, look. That's how boggy it is. Make sure your wheels or on the gravel or hard standing at all times. You can drag yourself off, but in this weather, you will just sink. Now we are heading over to another campsite after here. We are here for quite some time. There's a few bits and pieces I want to do around here, so we're staying here for a bit, just relax. Just having a relax. Let's get over here, because someone's coming past the car. So we're going to have a relax here and chill out. Just been to Waitrose this morning. Waitrose is literally, I don't know, 10 minutes up the road. It's expensive, isn't it, Waitrose? I was going to drive Tesco's, but I thought, oops, I didn't come bothered. But, beautiful. We're getting all the autumn colours through now. Look at this, look. Absolutely lovely. And the kiddies' play, playground, fantastic. I'm going to see if I can do a quick swing round in the shop. Plenty of place there, space there for your kids to blow off steam. Oh, this is someone I need to take. Sorry about that, I had to take that call. And here are your fire pits. Okay, that's your fire pits you can rent out. I think you give a £20 deposit and get back at the end, and then you can buy your wood from there as well. Also, you can hire a vehicle out. Um, also, you can hire bikes out again on the front of this building there's your defibrillator always make sure you know where your defibrillator is all the time when you're on campsites if it's not for you it's for uh, someone else and here's the site map but you can walk around that's where we are we're here here there's a dog walk out here, and then you can walk around this area. It's a big woodland, you can walk around. And there's your defeat. As I said, there's fire points everywhere. I'm just gonna go in the shop now. And that's what's on. They keep all what's on on this chalkboard. And this is good as well, look. Vets and all your emergency numbers. Happy days. I'm just going to go in the shop. So I'm in the shop. Look at this. There's all fishing tackle stuff. Cafe details. Oh, look, there's my goats and what their names are. Absolutely lovely. And all little things you may need. Taxi firms. Bernard is a top man here. They'll be fixed with that if it gets, gets a problem. Yeah, good lad. And there we go, so it's a nicely shop, stocked shop. Chips and pizzas and fish fingers, what else would you want? Camping stuff, all the essentials, and beer, most importantly, and wine and stuff. All local stuff, ice cream if you want it, and yeah. Nice little stock shop. Thank you, darling. Okay. See you later. Bye. 
That's it. Nice, isn't it? Staff are lovely here as well. I can't do enough for you. Really nice people. Um, the lady that, a cleaner, that does all the toilets, she's in there all the time cleaning out the toilets and showers and that. I'll tell you what, I'll put the showers up now. I'll flash forward till tonight, to tonight when I go in there and have a shower. Drain and it's a turny turny one and a heated one. Shower curtain, somewhere to put your soap and shampoo and a rainforest shower head. Plenty of places to hang your stuff up. Absolutely flipping lovely, spotless in here. Mop and bucket with some disinfectant in which they don't usually put in. There's the other one. No, it's a lot of campsites I find and they don't put a little tray there so you can't put your stuff in, you have to put it on the floor. And if you've uh, got a knackered back or you're elderly, bending over and picking your stuff up is not good. Also, they don't have chairs in some of them. But they do now. Beautiful. There we go. Use the mop. Mop a disinfectant. Oh. And a hand dryer. So that's your traps. Your rhinos showers and ladies is on the other side beans look out of here so well lovely eh oh. I'll just show you in here as well it's disabled sit on, hand rail, baby changing, family room thing, nappy bin, and it nice, it's well nice, and an alarm call down, that's really good, it's probably one of the best facilities I've been to actually, complete wet room, under under floor heating and everything, it's wicked, and here we go, this is where we are, So, back to JP. Do you reckon on that then? Yeah, flipping lovely. Heated floor, big old um, rainforest shower. Absolutely cracking. I'm gonna go down this little dog walk here. Um, there's a stag, look at him. What a beast. Love one of them in my front garden. And there's your bins, all recycling. So you have to pick everything apart and stick it all in there. There's your recycling. Again, we're over there. It's a one-way system five miles an hour all around the campsite it's very important there are children and pets here and you have to report into there when you get here nice drive coming in you do feel like you're coming into a really nature friendly campsite it's absolutely stunning and uh here's the woodland you can walk about look at that old tree there it's all long gone forgotten now but beautiful there'll be some wildlife in there and there's like a dog walk right there. Dog poop bins everywhere. And security cameras all around the site to keep you safe. There's a bug house, look at that. Need more of them in their lives. What have we got here? Let's have a look. There we go. All the things you can find in the bug house, all having a kip. It's getting cold now. And a nice woodland. 
So, happy flipping days. Not bad, eh? So I'll be doing some videos from here. I'll probably go and have a fish if it ain't raining every day. There's nothing worse than just sitting there in the rain, is it? I've got a bivvy, but I'll just put a flipping awning up. That takes long enough. Um, a couple of caravans here. I don't know if they do caravan storage here. But proper nice sight. Come on, dog. Look at him, look. He's got his jumper on. This is a really good jumper. This has got fibres in this. I don't know if you can see that. And they're high-vis fibres, so at night time, when he's walking around, you shine a torch on him, he glows up like a flipping alien. Anyway, yeah, so we've got all deer. There's Fallow and Muntjac. Scrolls, all sorts of stuff. We'll go back to the van now, yeah? because I've left my cup of tea there. I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I'm just going to take the muck round this little dog walk now. Show you in here. Might get a bit dark because it's really overcast. Keeps raining and on and off. I'll show you. Look. Dog poo bins everywhere. Come boy. Now that takes you down back round the back of our, our motor home, and there's a pond dipping pond there that you can go pond dipping in with the kids. And up this bit, you got all these woodlands, trails in and out of them. It's private land from side to side, which is where there are a lot of deer residing in. As you drive down the road, you can see them all. But yeah, There's lots of trails running about. Boggy up here, mate. Come on. I thought I'd show you that. Really nice. There's loads of birds calling around here. It's a proper cracking sight. I'll take you down here and then I'll walk back around through into the site. There's all trails going through here leading out into the fields around so Badger deer fox, it's got to be worth putting a trail cam there somewhere. 100% looks very badgery. I can't see any deer tracks. Yes, I can. There's one now. Tiny pointed footprint. Looks like a muntjac. So, muntjac use this pathway, which is nice. See if I can get some footage of those. But it's a lovely time of the year, albeit a little damp. Really damp. So through here, that munt jack's come through here. You can see the tracks coming through this part here. There we go. Looks like a turkey tail that. Hugely medicinal fungi. Multi-zonal polypore. Hang on a minute, that's not what I think it is up there, is it? And there's your little pond dipping pond. Oh, that'd be cracker. What's that? Blimey. See that there? That's chaga, or chaga. But that is a hugely medicinal fungi as well. If you Google that, chaga, or chaga. Blimey. Good air quality here. There you go, usually in Scotland. Surprising what you can find. You can make chaga tea and stuff like that. It's got loads of health benefits. It's uh, one of nature's finest medicines, that. And there's a ditch that goes all the way around here, look. You can walk up and down here. Gonna put some trail cams out here, I think. There's the pond. Right, back to the van for a cup of tea. Shall I end it here? Yeah, I'll end it here. Right. Come here, Raven. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really flipping appreciate it. I've had a nice little influx of subscribers lately. And uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. They're all a bit eclectic. I'll vlog what I like to vlog. 
and hopefully you like what I like to vlog. Predominantly campsites and wildlife and days out around the area where our motor home is parked up. And then I'll also throw in some wildlife reserves and some birding and any nature I find, I'll stick a video up of it. Um, yeah, so thank you for subscribing and liking my videos and sharing them where you can. I really appreciate it. That's that then, as we say in a trade. You take care. Oh, forgot. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi on site. It's not too bad either. Anyway, love you and leave you. You take care. You stay safe. Stay sane. Look after yourselves and look after each other. Love to you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Should be exciting. See you later. Bye.